always welcome back to our channel this is timik tv and i'm miss rachel and mama timi elijah it's good to have you here again timik tv is all about skincare product review product formulation kaya mata and hair care if you're stopping by for the first time you're welcome to our family please click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so whenever you get notified each time i upload a new video guys this is subscribers thank you so much for supporting this channel thank you for your love i really appreciate it all right, today's video is all about formulation fails and how to deal with them. Are you a skincare formulator or do you just do simple DIY but in the end it turned out to be a total waste, waste of time, waste of resources? Then this video is for you. Please watch till the end, okay? Now, I'll be sharing the information. I categorize it into two. Category A, where I'll be talking about lotion. And category B, we are talking about soap. Now, under category A, we are talking about lotion. I'm going to tell you why your lotion separates, why your cream or your lotion separates, why oil floats on your lotion after formulating, after making you see oil floating on top. Now, there's a reason for that. I'm going to tell you. I'm also going to tell you why your cream changes color over time. I'm equally going to tell you why your lightning lotion turned out to be ineffective. Yes. I'm also going to tell you why you react to certain products, certain cream and lotion you use. You see, you start reacting the next day or almost immediately. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for ineffective lotion. There's a reason why you react to cream. There's a reason why your lotion gives you rashes, eczema, on even skin to get there's a reason for that watch this video to the end to get the complete information to guide you when next you are making your lotion now on the soap making we're gonna talk about major challenges you encounter when making your soap from scratch whether liquid soap or paste now I'm gonna tell you certain secret there also I'm gonna tell you why your soap separate why it turns watery after time and also why your soap did not lather well why your black soap dries out your skin why your black soap causes acne and eczema as well as why your black soap smell and changes color i've talked about black soap smell and why it changes color but i'm also going to throw more light on that if you want to know this you want to get the complete package the full information please watch this video till the end no matter how good you are with formulation, you must experience formulation fail someday. Okay? And that's why this video is to help you know how to deal with them. Now, I told you we're talking about lotion and soap. First of all, let's talk about lotion. Separation. Your cream or your lotion can separate due to some factors. Okay, you, sometimes after making your lotion, you see water gather at the bottom. Or sometimes you see oil floating on the surface. It could be as a result of inadequate base or emulsifier. When something like this come up, what you should simply do is increase the emulsifier. Add some melted emulsifier and oil and blend together blend everything together okay if your emulsifier is not enough it can make your oils float on top of your lotion or get uh, water gather at the bottom so when something like this happens you just need an emulsifier to hold everything together add more emulsifier another thing can be as a result of bad preservative system Always preserve lotion with the right preservative and at the right quantity. Right preservative matters a lot and the right quantity, it's another thing you must not joke with. Adding an ingredient that may weaken emulsion system can also be a reason for separation in your cream or lotion. Okay, some ingredient can cause the lotion to go watery. Okay, some ingredients like some preservative, even your AHA, can make your preservative go watery. 
and separate after a while so avoid such ingredients or simply fix by increasing emulsifier okay take note of that now oil floating on your lotion oil floating on your lotion this happens when oil in the product is too much when you add too much oil to your product you see oil floating on top of it okay so what you should simply do is add distilled water and equivalent quantity of preservative to blend this out okay take note of it number three we have color change color change in your lotion immediately or maybe after balancing the ph or after a few days you see your lotion changing color this happens when there is an ingredient that can oxidize either due to exposure exposure to air exposure to light or low ph can cause color change in your cream ingredients certain ingredients can also cause it ingredients like kojic acid vitamin c hydroquinone can exhibit properties of oxidization okay it can make your cream change color color change cannot be reversed so what you should do is find out the reason for the color change in your product and then fix it in your next formulation you can replace those oxidizing ingredients or just leave the formulation as it is color change cannot be reversed all you have to do is take note of the color take note of that ingredient that caused the color change and then fix it in your next formulation we also have ineffective lightening lotion why does your lotion turn out to be ineffective especially lightening product okay why why is that now you should know that no lotion is made to darken your skin no lotion is made to darken your skin some of, some of you say your lightening product is making you dark no and you should understand that when your, your product is making you dark, it's either the ingredient or your skin not responding. But no product is made to darken you. You should also understand that combining just alpha abortin and kojic acid will not do the job of skin lightening. It will not lighten you the way you want. Just mixing alpha abortin and kojic acid. Yes, they are lighteners, but they are not enough to do what you want. Making use of bases, the right bases and raw oils are very essential. If you are making a lightning product or a whitening product, there are some base you must use. There are some base you must not use. Okay, your base matter in, in lots. Your oil matters a lot. Serum matters a lot. You need them, not just your powders. Okay, these oils and serum, lightning oils and serum are highly concentrated. Those are what you need with your base and your powder. Then you are good to go. We check your formulation and make sure you are using these ingredients in their right quantities, right usage rate. Also ensure to purchase high quality ingredient. If your ingredient is of low quality, it will definitely affect your product. You cannot compare somebody working with high quality ingredients and somebody using low quality ingredients. In Nigeria, there are so many fake ingredients. Some people package powders as lightning powders. So make sure you're getting the right ingredient from the right source. This could also be due to tough skin texture. Remember I said when you are using a product and you say you are getting dark, it's either the ingredient or your skin. Skin textures can also be a reason. So include penetration enhancer and exfoliate regularly. In your oils, include penetration enhancer. In your cream, you also need penetration enhancer to make the ingredient get into the skin and do the job it ought to do. It's meant to do. And don't forget to exfoliate regularly. Number five, cream and lotion not thick or too thick. You can lighten it. You can fix it. If it's not too thick, you can work on it. If it's too thick, if it's not thick to your taste you can correct it if it's too thick you can too thick you can fix it as well as well you can lighten the consistency with distilled water and equip equivalent preservative when you incorporate water in your product you need 
preservative to balance it up. Okay. Note that the amount of water and preservative added can be adjusted in your next formulation. Okay. Always take note of the error and then you know how to address it. But if you don't know the cost of the problem, you don't know the cost of the formulation fee, you would not know what to look at for. You would not know what to fix in it. Okay. Lotion darkening the skin. No product is supposed to darken the skin. No product is meant to darken the skin. Except you have previously been using something that lightens your skin probably more. If you have previously used strong lightening product, then you may notice that your current lightening product may not be working as fast as you expect because you are used to fast lightening product you are used to strong lightening product so if you have previously been using something that lightens your skin probably more than how the current lotion does in this case you may wait the darkening process out and allow the current lotion to start its own job or you use something stronger or you go back to your previous product okay so you just have to wait for the darkness stage to phase out and allow your product to start showing results remember patience is always a key patience consistency is key okay darkening of skin your lotion darkening you remember i said no lotion is meant to darken nice edda what i just said about the product you've used before your previous experience in skin lightening product or you do not make use of sunscreen some screen is very very important in skin care in skin lightening especially if you do not make use of sunscreen you will experience skin darkening almost immediately when you start using lightening product sun exposure can cause darkening especially when your product contains evidence that can cause photosensitivity you should always use a sunscreen okay you should use your product at night most especially do not use your product while you are in the sun that's why most times so use a lightning product at night and then use your sunscreen during the day the only product that you should use on your skin while you are in the sun is a sunscreen never a lightning product okay you can use your plain moisturizer during the day and then use your sunscreen 30 minutes before you go up in the sun. Now, number seven, lotion causing unevenness or skin reaction. Now, if this is a generic problem, about three or more people experience the same issue, then the problem is with the ingredient in that lotion. If a product is making you to react, if your product is causing an evenness, like most especially I tell people, when you make your product, don't just conclude. Give it to three or more people to try to test it and then you can now base your judgment and decide if this product is okay. Don't use your product just by yourself and then you conclude, oh, this lightning product is good, it lightens me. Or no, it's not good, it doesn't work, it doesn't lighten me. No, give it to three or more people. Then get that feedback and then you can conclude on the product if it's good, if it does the work it's supposed to do or not. Okay, so if your product is not giving you the result, give it to people to use and then get that feedback. Then you will know if the product is from the if the problem is from the ingredient in the lotion or not. Okay, there are ingredients can be too strong for your skin or the ingredient may not be effective so if it's not generic whoever has the issue of maybe skin reaction or evenness has a sensitive skin and should use something not as strong if you give it up to three people and it's working well for two people without any complaint and one person is having some sort of complaint reaction and all of that then it could be that that person's skin is super sensitive and the product is too strong for him or her hope you get a point now let's talk about soap liquid soap paste soap making from scratch hardening of soap while on heat why does your soap harden while it's still on the heat 
your product is on heat which means the water in it is drying up so if your soap has not cooked for three hours yet add a bit more distilled water and stir very well okay if your soap is hardening on heat and you have not incorporated all your ingredients you are not done with the cooking of it yet just add distilled water and then stir sparingly and cover soap separating or turning watery after adding acids why does your soap separate or turn watery after adding acid your soap are alkaline products you must understand that soap are alkaline product and acid are of course acidic so what do you expect when you add acid to your soap especially to reduce the ph they can go watery and may separate so always ensure your soap end result is at a ph of 8 to 7. it's at a ph of 7 to 8 sorry most time i prefer to work with seven, with 8. always make sure your ph ph of your soap is at 7 or 8. i'll give more priority to 8. okay stabilize it and you can also add more soap base to thicken if your soap is too light too watery you can add more soap base to thicken it now your soap does not lather well why is it that this is also as a result of low ph value if your ph of the soap is too low your soap will turn watery it can separate and as well not lather well so again i'll say ph of your soap should be between seven to eight more priority to it okay for your soap another thing that makes your soap not lather well is because adding other ingredients to it will only make it lather less another thing that makes your soap not lather well is adding other ingredients at a usual rate that is not recommended okay However, you can increase soap quantity a little. Black soap, for example, you can add more black soap base. Okay, liquid soap base, etc. Or add a foam booster. So if your soap is not lathering well, if it's a black soap you made and it's not lathering well, just add more soap base, more black soap, raw black soap. If it's your liquid soap, the same thing. Or better still, just add a foam booster. And then we have black soap smell bad. I've talked about this before. Black soap smell and the color. This is only due to improper preservation. This cannot be re reversed. If your soap smells, it cannot be reversed. Just take note, take note of what you remove and then fix it in your next formulation. This cannot be revived. Also, black soap itself has a very strong smell, which means you may not overpower it by just essential oil. Black soap has a strong smell, which means which means just adding essential oil to it won't fix it. Okay? So if you don't like the smell of the natural black soap, use fragrance oil instead for your black soap not your lotion for lotion i prefer a i recommend essential oils but for black soap you can use fragrance oils now black soap color changes over time some people complain if their black soap is not black or if it's too black or if it turns black after a few days or if it doesn't turn black at all now this is the nature of black soap Black soap should turn black normally, but it may not turn black if there are some evident present that can affect the color. Black soap naturally should be black, just as it sounds. Black soap. What do you expect? You should expect a black soap. So that should be the natural color. Now, why does your black soap dry out your skin? This means your moisturizer are not enough. Your moisturizing agents are not enough. So what you should do is include humectant like glycerin, polycarb that do not wash off when you rinse your skin. Okay, so glycerin is very good. It won't wash off when you rinse your skin with your soap. 
and they'll say black soap causes acne eczema and all of that why is this so why is that the case check your ingredient to make sure you have a preservative present as microorganisms getting into your skin from your product can cause skin issues if your black soap is causing eczema and acne and all of that check your preservative system make sure you're using the right preservative and you're using it at the right usage rate you're using it at the recommended usage rate because if you, your soap is not properly preserved microorganisms will get into the soap and it will also go straight into your skin from the product also check to make sure that there's no ingredient that can cause sensitivity or irritation to the skin check that there are moisturizers as well as dry skin can cause your skin to overproduce oil and cause acne so make sure you check this out take note of them take note of the error take note of the problem that way you'll be able to fix it but if you don't know the problem then i'm sorry you won't know what to correct you won't know what to fix in your formulation hope you find this video interesting see you in my next video if you have any question please let me know in the comments section